Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day. So today we're going to have a tutorial on how to use the progress bars and a little bit of YOLAL mixed in. But first I'm going to have a really quick mini tutorial if you're just looking to get started. So what you're going to do, you're going to take a progress bar out of here. You're just going to plop it down on a device base or a platform like this. And all you got to do is you have to rename this field to whatever you want it to display. So if we want it to read to display battery we'll just type in battery here and then it will display it if it's connected properly and then all you got to do as well uh, along with that is set your maximum and minimum value so battery is 10,000 and boom that's all you need but so now we'll get into the full tutorial and that will explain a lot more hopefully than just that quick bit of information so the first part about progress bars is you'll want to know where they are so in the asset browser, they're under devices, controls, and then they're kind of near the bottom. So there's the 12 by 24 centimeter version, the 24 by 48, and then text panel. So we have all of them right in front of us here and some other things to help us test. So another portion of the progress bars is they have to be placed on certain surfaces. So here with your pilot seat, you'll see that they are on this textured surface. So they need to be on something like this to operate or else they just won't work. Or they have to be connected to one of these. So this is a panel base and what it'll do is it will let you connect the uh, progress bars and hybrid buttons directly to a wall that they're connected to. You'll see there's a little notch right, right behind it and what you do is you enable snapping and then everything should snap perfectly right into that little notch and then you can branch off however you like. So now how to use the progress bars. So what you want to do is in your progress bar you'll have the various values. So we have this one. Normally it will start out as blank but I've renamed it to battery. So battery the current value is 10,000. That's because this battery's value is 10,000. And then you have these two things. These are also very important. Panel min value and panel max value. So right now, this would only display up to 100 battery value. We'll just say that. So any value, so the 9,900 that is above 100 won't get shown. This progress bar will only update once it hits 100. So if we update it to 10,000, now we won't be able to see much difference, but it will slowly start to tick down now versus these ones, which are still at 100, they won't be able to tick down for a while. So I turned on this light just to simulate power usage, but so that's really how you edit all of these various, they all essentially function the same. Text panels are a little bit more difficult, but those are more in the frame of if you want to make compressed displays and things, but that won't be really necessary since this is just a simple tutorial. I'll get more into that in a different tutorial. But so here, what if you want to declare a different variable? What if you don't want it to be your battery level? So what you can do is a YOLAL chip. So right here, we have this YOLAL chip. So I've declared a variable, you use colon, and then the name of the variable. So I just call it variable one, and then equal to 16. So all that's just saying is it's setting variable one equal to 16. So remember to enable snapping when you're in the universe like this, which is just by pressing C, and it'll go right back into the slot. And if you just hit run, it'll all work. So I'm gonna rename this panel to variable one. and boom it updates to 16 and so you can change this so we'll just let's say let's change it to 213 so hit enter and then play and it updates to 213 so you can do that with all kinds of different variables and all kinds of different things like uh, engine power generators so many different things will output all these different values and so another quick YOLAL tip, so you can customize like different variables and add everything. So I can just rename, say I want to rename battery 
and what I want it to be is battery is equal to B1 so I'll I'll explain that later but then B1 plus let's go yeah 21,378 all right and we'll hit play on that and then what we'll do is we'll rename this battery to B1 so now what that should do yep okay so what that does is you take the you establish the variable using the colon so the variable battery is equal to the variable which is b1 this so it's that b1 variable is being set by this the battery itself plus whatever number you like and then it updates accordingly and remember if uh, like for example here you see it runs down on the left the green every line is executed a quick thing that you can do to make it more efficient is just put in a go to one and then it'll only repeat those lines and that's really helpful for maximizing your YOLAL ability but so that's just a kind of quick overview of a bit of YOLAL and how to use your your progress displays for basically anything so you can rename them to whatever you like and they just work. They're very simple, but very useful. So that's about it. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. There will be more content like this coming in the future, so be on the lookout for that, and thanks for watching.